All right, there we go. So the uh, Mako Formula 3 will be coming out. Uh, former Frank Yelinski car. Frank Yelinski, of course, uh, ran in uh, European Formula 2 in the early 80s, but uh, that was his bright yellow Formula 3 machine. I saw that Lola coming out there as well. Lola T70 joining the single seaters. That's uh, a, a March coming out now. March 812. I saw that earlier on the Martini Colors uh, was on one of those cars, a Formula Ford. Actually, that's the 813 that's going out. We saw that one earlier on in uh, the pit area. And then the Hawk uh, Formula Ford going out onto the uh, circuit as well. So we have a number of uh, classic uh, machines hanging out there. Of course, we have the uh, Racing happening between uh, the 50s and 60s Grand Prix cars. That's of course uh, Formula One and Formula Two cars. But yes, that's the 813 March. Mike White's uh, 813 March. Vandeville uh, British Formula Three going all the way back to the late 70s. And there's the 812 March. Beautiful stuff in those uh, red martini colors. The Formula 5000 is going to be running out as well now. And uh, we'll open up onto the track with its high air box as the uh, Lola makes its way past into turn one. So only a handful of these uh, historic single seaters doing the uh, parade today, doing a few laps to wind it all up. And we'll have some more parades uh, from them in the latter part of the day as well. That, of course, would be the historic single-seaters. The Formula 5000 now making its way into that uh, beep, uh, sorry, uh, Castrol corner. Gingerly going at it, so it uh, doesn't have to uh, go full tilt out of the box, but uh, let it just do a few uh, good old parade laps as the Mocha Formula 3 comes past our position. The March 813. <laughs> is a really lovely sight to see these cars going around. I would have expected, Byron, that uh, the driver of the Formula 5000 would have hoofed it a bit, but uh, that car is heading into a turn number two right now, into Castro Corner. That is a lot of V8 under that uh, motor car, but uh, just taking it uh, gingerly around. As, uh, you've got a few of the guys that are just uh, Hang around here as quick as they possibly can and having a bit of fun. But uh, Byron, in general, it's a lovely sight. Some of the guys are going quick, others are just idling around to show off the motor cars. But uh, yeah, still lovely to see these things out on the circuit. Yeah, some of them are, like you say, Frankie, just really going out there and having a fun time. That Formula 2 march, uh, the Martini march that goes through the kink now. It's a beautiful sounds coming from these motor cars. That march, of course, goes all the way back to the late 70s for the likes of Mark Sura, 
who uh, drove uh, the uh, for the official BMW team in uh, in that era. Actually, the one after that one was the uh, the uh, 812 March, and uh, well, that one was just the uh, pre uh, pre 1980 one with the uh, one with the front mounted radiator. But Byron, uh, March has got a long history as well in, in, in motorsport. Uh, they even had, I think the last March now, rectify me if I'm wrong here, the last March car in F1 changed its name to Leighton House. And then back to March. And then back to March. And then that ended the era of March in F1. Yeah, March started out with a 701 in uh, 1970. Max Mosley, who was one time uh, uh, head of the FIA, actually started that team along with Alan Reese and uh, Graham Coker, uh, as well as Robin Hood. They went uh, racing. Of course, Jackie Stewart won uh, one Grand Prix in a March, which was, which was run by Tyrrell. But yes, you are quite right. They disappeared for a few years, came back, then became Leighton House. Then went back to March, and uh, one of the men who uh, raced in that very last March was Jan Lammers, who has been uh, a guest here at Kilani in the past as well. So that you'll go all the way back. You'll go all the way back to uh, 1992 Australian Grand Prix, when it was the last time a March was in a, uh, a Grand Prix. And uh, they were quite a, 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 bra a brand because what happens is they ran Formula 2 cars, they ran Formula, uh, Formula 3 cars as well. Uh, they were actually big into the customer car uh, business, uh, like at one stage Brabham was, Lotus was, and of course in subsequent years after that, Rolt, uh, Ron Toronax, Rolt that uh, came and uh, had some great success in Formula 3. But uh, yeah, Jordan, you are actually speaking about uh, Jan Lammers earlier on and his car is around here. I don't believe he's here today, but I mean, his car is you know, a piece of history, and um, he's a piece of history, if, you, if I can say. Um, and seeing international cars come down here and, you know, drive around our just local circuit, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Uh, it's great to have names like Jan Lummers around as well. He came last year, if I remember. Of course, a man that's very involved uh, with the management of the Zandvoort uh, F1 circuit and a uh, good friend of the Verstappens as well. So uh, that's a man that's uh, really in the know as far as things are concerned. But uh, enjoy these uh, Formula cars and the uh, one sports car, the Lola T70, that are going to be coming into the pits now. And uh, they have concluded the uh, parade for the historic single seaters a bit of a, a bit of a uh, will be um, information here on march they did 207 races byron they had three wins five poles seven fastest laps 173.5 uh, points no driver or constructors titles the very first race for March was the 1970 SA Grand Prix. And the final Pole position one in that race, was uh, the 1992, Frankie. as you said, the Aussie Grand Prix for, for March. And uh, their last win was the Italian Grand Prix in 1976. Ronnie Peterson, 1976, 761 March. So that's just a little bit of uh, information that I... Went to go look up here on Google for March uh, race cars. I'm sorry I just butted in there, Frank. It felt like a quiz night, so I had to just jump in there and, and complete your sentence over there. My apologies. <laughs> but uh, there was some magnificent stuff. We are going to be moving on to the louder classic cars now, and that, I think, is going to be a humdinger of a race because we've got some extra guests as well we usually always have a big field for the louder classic cars but it's always uh, great when they add a few extra to the mix